Okay. Okay, guys, look, let's start talking about the Boston anime and what's been going on with it recently. Because leading up to this point, it's been a it's been a mixed bag of emotions for me. But now, now though, this shit is fucking epic. Okay, so like I said previously, man, when it comes to the Boruto anime, I did get annoyed in the past with some of the filler stuff. Not all of it, like some people, they hate all of it, but some of it, I was a little annoyed. Mainly because it felt too repetitive and it felt a little bit too kiddish. I mean, I get maybe this is supposed to be geared towards younger children. Be like how Naruto from the start was geared towards younger children. But look, I came to Boruto for the nostalgia. So I gave it a pass on that a little bit. But the one thing that did kind of get on my nerves a lot is really just Boruto, the character himself. And it's not really a bad thing because that's the way the story set up with him cheating during the tuning exams. I don't know about you. And let me know, let me know down below how you guys were feeling about Boruto. But every single time that he was cheating during the tuning exams like i cringe so fucking much i couldn't help it i'm just like it made it really made me hate boruto as a character because i'm like dude this is so fucked up like you're not a real ninja bro don't be doing that shit especially when he's talented you see what i'm saying uh but everything now with the latest episodes it has really shown me that the anime version has definitely surpassed the movie version up to this point because there has been so much death added to not just Boruto but all of his surrounding friends like you know she could die and everybody else it's all this story development that shows you the relationship that he had it just makes it just made me even more upset like how you gonna do she could die like that bro how you gonna do him like that you saw what happened when she could die was like did you did you use that on me too he's like no no uh let me explain but I'm like bro he deserved every ounce of that. You know what I'm saying? When I saw Boruto use that pertinent, you know, the little thing for the purple lightning technique against, you know, Gar's son, I was like, I literally, my jaw literally dropped, bro. I was so upset. I'm like, are you fucking serious? I'm thinking, you know what? And I should, I seen the movie. I've, I've, I've read the manga. I'm like, how did I not? But I don't know why in my mind I thought this was going to be the one time that Boruto was not going to use it and beat him through sheer will. You see what I'm saying? Because the lightning attack that he did use, the Chidori, it did do, it did crack it, right? But it wasn't going to be enough to break it. But I don't know why in my mind I had it set like, oh no, he's going to break it. He's going to do it through sheer will and actually not use it. You know what I'm saying? Which wouldn't make up for all the times he did use it. But it makes sense that, of course, he used it again, purple lightning, Naruto like, boy, Boy, you not a ninja. You not a ninja. He, he deserved all of that. But that that episode was very, very emotional, especially for me just seeing that because it had me so angry that he used that. And then that next moment, it justified everything. But I was also, even though he deserved it, I felt like extremely sad with him. Like everybody's looking at him. He is literally the disgrace of the ninja world. All five of the, you know, all five of them are here. So man it was very impactful and that's and that's really what i want to talk about is just how it's definitely surpassed the movie the movie was epic i actually looked at it a little bit yesterday but wow but yeah ever since the tuning exam has started man things have really been heating up now the osuki clan is here they popped up just like in a movie everything is about to be lit basically uh Another reason why it's definitely surpassing the movie is because, you know, the scene with Naruto sacrificed himself for the village. That that scene where he looks back at Boruto and Boruto is just flashing back, thinking about his father, and finally coming to the realization that his father is not that bad of a guy. To, to, to see that, and then he realizes right before his father, you know, in his eyes probably is gone, you know, or dead, at, you know just at that moment it's really crazy to see so so many emotions man and then you see hinata running back it's really cool that you get to see more of the side characters like now we understand why hinata was in the hospital she you, you get to see her run back to try to save naruto everybody in the village all the you know seeing all the kages watching in the distance knowing what's happening it's 
It's very impactful, man. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. I mean, I know what's going to happen next, but I'm really excited to see what they're going to do in the anime next. Because uh, they haven't been completely following the movie, as you can see. In the movie, he it ended with Shikadai. He didn't fight against Garo's son. So I, I like where this is going. They're, they're not just rehashing the movie. They're actually improving upon it in the places where it was flawed. So... I'm excited to see what's next. Let me know your guys' uh, thoughts down below on just the balls or anime in general. Were you annoyed with it first, but now you love it? Are you still annoyed with it? Let me know. And of course, some of you might notice I haven't uploaded a video in like a year and a half. So if you want to know what I have been doing in that past year and a half, you know, just personal stuff. If you want to know why I've been gone so long, things like that. I made a separate video that should have been uploaded with this video as well. So just, you know, go to my channel and you'll probably see the other video as well. And then you can kind of see what I've been doing for like the past year and a half. It's been a lot. So definitely check that video out as well. But uh, yeah, let me, and you know, of course, also let me know what other stuff you want to see me cover on this channel. Uh, but that's it, man. This is your boy Tahani, man. I'm out of here. If you like my shirt, you can get it on the merch shop. Link in the description. But yeah, that's it, man. This is your boy Tahani, and I'll talk to you later. Hey, hey, let me be great. Let me be great. It's the hottest sound. Move out the way. Move out the way. Too real. I can see through the face.